New Testament scholars differ widely on almost every issue in the Bible, except this one. Shepherds are nobodies. They're the lowest of the working class, and some of the most useless when it comes to agrarian sustainability. They're given the job of looking after animals that need very little supervision. The skill set required is having sight and a little bit of gumption just to keep the animals from getting agitated. A child could do this work properly. As a matter of fact, some scholars believe this is exactly who's in the field the night the angel appeared. Teenagers. For heavenly beings to show up to children, and for Scripture to give such real estate to these nobodies from nowhere, that says something about what God is intending. The birth of Jesus is not just for the priestly or the wealthy classes. Who is born this day in the city of David is a Savior, a Messiah, a Lord for all people, shepherds included. I often imagine the fear of these young kids coupled with the awe that they experience when the angel speaks. I imagine it changed their lives forever. I imagine the stories and the tales they tell for the rest of their lives and the generations that are impacted because the God of the universe took time on a busy Christmas Eve to bring good news even to them. By the way, my faith tells me that God still does this today. I have often felt like a nobody. Now, my position and title in the community, it rarely makes me invisible. But at the same time, I have carried thoughts of insignificance. I've wondered, just as the shepherds did, am I really even known by others? I mean, deep down, I know people love me. But even deeper down, I've experienced several lonely nights, wondering if anyone was truly there. These thoughts affect and haunt all of us. We all know the dark, lonely nights of watching after something that seems insignificant in the grand scheme of things, wondering if what we are doing has even purpose or even matters to someone else. And I can confidently say, each time I go down one of these lonely roads where I hit one of these low points, I am brought back to reality by a jolt a light, a reminder from the heavenly realm that I do matter, I do belong, and God comes to me as the great shepherd, even when it feels like no one else would. So wherever you find yourself today, perhaps alone in a field feeling purposeless, or right there with Mary and Joseph, feeling as if you have all the purpose in the world, I can confidently say, no matter where you are, or who you are, or why you are there, tonight God comes to you. The promise of Christmas is that God's light and love find you right where you are. You didn't earn it. You didn't get lucky and find it. God's presence and abiding grace were always for you. And they were never too lost for God to find you and then to show it to you. I hope you know in your bones that if all of this can be true for a bunch of children in an open field keeping watch over their flocks by night, then it can be true for you too. Merry Christmas. Christ has come. Emmanuel is here. God is with you.